my PS2 settings for the Razer Edge Pro. So you guys get to take a look at, uh, you know, how my settings are on the PS2 emulator, PCSX2. Probably not the best settings in the world for the system, but it works for me. Everything works smoothly. Now, first of all, you want to get this uh, particular version. Let me close out of this first. So this is a uh, the version I have, which is 1.5.0, 2016 May. Okay, that's what it says May. I guess it says May 23rd. Yeah, and then a whole bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. Anyway, this was one of the uh, the developer versions. You want to try to see if you can grab this one particularly. And just copy my settings. So this is my default emulator version uh, of PCSX2. As you see, I have a few others. I never used the other one. That's the very first version. I think 1.4.0 or something like that. The first version I downloaded anyway. Uh, I don't use that one. PS2 latest is the one that you see me about to give you a tutorial on. Then I have a separate one specifically for Shadows of Colossus. And a few other hard to play games. Everything else should play with the settings that I'm about to show you. I don't have too much time, so I'm actually go through it kind of quick. You can feel free to pause the video. I use DirectX 9 for everything, okay? So, and, you know, just copy my settings here for DirectX 9. Two times native, of course, you can go higher than that if you want. Aggressive CRC hack level is very important. Um, that does like bug fixes basically that's what that means um, I found Director X9 to work very well with Windows 10 more so than uh, some of the other stuff again these are my default settings so this should work with most of the games and if you have an issue with a particular game feel free to let me know and I can help you with any particular game now these you can leave this way I don't think I ever even messed with these or that or this, but I'm just showing you everything. Why is it not selecting? Okay. Now, here, um, I I don't have frame skipping on. I hate it. It sucks. It jumps frames. It's terrible. So don't use it. Okay. And you want to keep VSync on, and you don't have to put any of this other stuff. Um. For the speed hacks, have everything checked except enable fast CD DVD, C DVD. and uh, I have speed hacks enabled. Okay. Game fixes I turned off. I've gotten a lot of bugs with this. And that's pretty much it. That's my default settings. Um, I don't think there's anything else to show. Yeah, everything else is basically, well, that's pretty much it. Everything should run with those default settings. Yeah, feel free to pause it if you need to. Just that I got a little bit of time left on this uh, video because I'm running out of space on the iPad I'm recording this on. So if you have any other questions, go feel free to leave it in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Also, thanks for watching, guys.